the plan today? The uh, plan today is no plans. We're going to explore, ride some gondolas, and eat some gelato. It's a little bit later today because we slept in, and I'm not wearing my hat, finally. Oh yeah, if you <laughs> scream American if you're wearing a baseball cap, and, and that's all I, at. yeah, and you get stared at. And that's all I've been wearing this entire time, <clears throat> is a baseball cap, so. So we slept in because this tired trip, it's been a thousand miles an hour, go here, go there, wake up early. I got a little bit sick, or I thought I was getting sick, but I decided to sleep in. It's right around noon now, of course, Marissa had to do her hair. It looks good, you can do your hair. But today's our relaxed day because we're essentially halfway through the trip, more or less. We still have Naples to go to, two more train rides, but today is just a relaxed day. Catch up on sleep, enjoy our time, and yeah, just hang out. So, let's go. on the agenda today is another episode of Marissa's Shopping Spree. You take me to Venice, that's all there is to do here, so. What are these? Sleeping mask? What? So these nuts must be like super popular. Yeah, whatever these are, they have them they everywhere. Have them. Yeah, they, they, they sell roasted walnuts everywhere. <laughs> oh, I was trying to get an epic shot of where we just had lunch. And everybody's saying ciao, and then like it's just a total failure. If you ever come to Venice, Asteria, Asteria de Sapori, fan. But if you order the punch, oh yeah. If you order the punch, just remember it's it's not liquor. Rum. It's like I mean, whiskey. It's not Mandarin punch, like it says it is. It's um, Jameson with the Mandarin peel. Mm. Yeah. So I had to drink it, and I'm not a liquor <laughs> person, but it was. It was, it was tough to drink. So beautiful here and relaxing. 14, quick differences between Rome and Venice. What do you think? Your opinion first. Mm. I would say Rome is more sightseeing, history, a lot of different like artifacts you can see. Okay. Venice is more just chill, relaxed, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of shopping. Rome, there's endless stuff to do. It's like a big city. It's like New York. Never been in New York, but I can imagine it's like New York or Chicago, but just tons of people, melting pot for the world. Um, everybody smokes. It's a little weird, but <clears throat> you can't get away from it. You just have to. It's the culture here. Venice, for me, I've liked it better because it's just quieter. It was recommended to me to only stay one day here, so we're staying two nights, but one full day. Tomorrow we go to Naples, but definitely one or two days in Venice because it, it's beautiful. It's relaxing, but it, it does all blend together. We've gotten lost the first day because it's like a maze of tiny little streets and canals. But um, definitely both must-see cities so far. I think it was good to start off with Rome and come to Venice and relax because today was the first day we slept in. I feel a thousand times better today than I did the other days, even though I punched through it. I thought I was actually starting to get sick, but I think... It was just because I was tired. So, and I don't think you can pick one over the other. No, They're you can't two pick one or the other. Entirely different. You have to do both. Uh, An update: this frulala hot sangria is a must-go if you're in Venice. So yeah. be sure to check it out. It was like, oh yeah, and everything's more affordable. I think a little bit more affordable in Venice. Less restaurants, no bars. The nighttime is really quiet. Um, 
the gondola rides were really expensive and a tip that was given to me by more than one person was to take the gondola ferry, which is only two euros, versus we've seen between 60 and upwards 90. of 90 euros per ride. And we think it's per ride, not per person. So we're not sure if we're going to do it yet or not. We but will do one. We're going to do one. Um, just don't know, so we'll let you guys know. We don't know if we're going to do the more expensive one, but um, I feel like it's a it's a bargain bargain city. There's just endless amounts of shops, but it's it's relaxing. It's a good change of pace yeah. for Europe. Not in Europe. Jump in. What are these? One, two, three. This is the Grand Canal. This is the, this is here. Okay. Out. Definitely feels more unstable, <laughs> but I'm sure they got it under control. Oi! Oi! It's a klaxon. <laughs> it's a oi! Primando. Oi. First on the left, oh. Voy Primando. Wow, look at this. This is Gran Canal. Wow. It's a four to the other side, to the area San Polo, in the Frari, Frari Church. Huh. This is a miracle church, a second church in Portland. So if you go, come on the gondola ride, um, give you a little bit of history while you're you're riding. It's not just complete silence and hey, hey kiss your girlfriend for 30 minutes. Oh no, my god! They give you some like some history. They talk about the Venice and the water height and everything, and the flood, the flood, etc. So it's worth it. Possibly. Well, guess what? We're not in Rome. Things calm down here. It's only 8.15 right now. Everything closed at 8. So on our way back, the only thing that was open was McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, let's go to McDonald's. What did we order? Four beers from McDonald's. <laughs> That's it. Four beers from McDonald's. We're headed to Naples tomorrow. Um, hopefully, get a good night's sleep. Yeah, We've loved cups. our time, yeah. right? She gives cups. You see, and she <laughs> gave us cups. Um, We've loved our time in Venice. We'll conclude this whole thing um, when we get back. But we're on to Naples tomorrow. The weather's supposed to be cruddy, so what are you gonna do? Thanks for hanging with us. More travel tips to come. We'll see you guys on the next one.